Alright, and we're all live, so you could just introduce yourself for the, to the family? Yes, uh, so my new African name is Kofi yeah. uh, Rufus mm. Wiggins, and um, I was born in Tripoli, Libya, Africa. Mm. As a little child, I uh, was left, I left, I was born here, but my mom took me back where they were living in Greece. And so I had an opportunity to enter for the first time into Africa on this trip. Mm -hmm. So, um, how long have you known about Bomani's tours and and about tours to Ghana in general? Yeah. Like, how, how long have you been interested? Uh, I knew about Bomani's tours probably only three months. Oh. And I did for those three months, I thoroughly went through his dossier. I thoroughly went through his videos <laughs> because I wanted to make sure the brother was legit. I wanted to make sure the brother uh, wasn't like what we are accustomed to, some uh -huh. that may not have found their area to be perfect. So uh, three months I knew about Bumani. Mm -hmm. And uh, testimony after testimony like this is what motivated me to come on this journey, the tour that he has. Okay, so um, could you uh, kind of expound or describe uh, on your experiences that you had here in Ghana, and what were some of the most memorable ones? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, um, I, I shared this with the, the group that we were with, and that was that um, uh, I had no expectations when I came here because I wanted to be as authentic as I could, experience, and not have any letdowns. So uh, entering into Africa in the airways when we were on the plane, mm -hmm. uh, watching a movie, which was John Q, uh, I started crying. And I didn't know why, because I watched the movie before. And then it just started getting heavy upon me. And on KLM Airlines, they have a, a, a screen that shows you exactly where you are in the air with the airplane going to. And notice that I had entered just into Africa. And not only that, but over the country that I was born in. And so there was some, some, some spiritual things that were uprooting within me. And um, as we approached closer and closer to Ghana, um, it's still, I got heavier and I had a lot of uh, uh, things surface that were caught in me that I didn't know. And it all began of starting with the Roots movie and, and uh, a lot of the past pains that I had to deal with. Mm -hmm. uh, and then having the memory of we are actually in the continent mm -hmm. that we were stolen from. And so it was very uh, emotional and moving for me. And uh, I will never forget that experience. The other thing that I'll say is that since I've been here, I've had some, some dreams that were uh, memorable and that uh, totally different than I've ever experienced before. And uh, so I'll say that without going into the dreams because I believe that uh, they are personal for me. But uh, Africa itself is mind blowing. It's a place that I never thought, one, that I, I, I would ever reach mm -hmm. uh, because I had an opportunity to come before and it got curtailed until this day, that was five years ago. Mm -hmm. But I will say to the audience that um, Africa is not what they tell us back in America. Mm -hmm. It is a beautiful country, beautiful people. Mm -hmm. They are just as much civilized as we are. Mm -hmm though with a different spin and a different culture. On the surface of things, they may not look like America. They may do business different than America, but they're more family-oriented and more down to earth than America. Mm. And if I had to pinpoint one thing to say, <laughs> what was that thing that I would take back home? And that would be, our elders have to step up. Ooh and speak to our children and to educate our children and push our children to come to Africa. Okay, I got a question with that. With that being said, um, what would you say to those uh, children out there or younger adults that are contemplating coming to Africa but say, oh, I just want to go on a South Africa trip or I want to go on uh, maybe a, a, a a tour owned by uh, another company yeah. to, to Ghana. What would you say to those out there? Yeah, I've lived, I've lived in four different countries. I've traveled to 14 different uh, countries. 
and so I've been on many a tours. If you want to waste your money, and I mean waste your money, <laughs> and go on tours that aren't by us and for us, you'll get an unauthenticated tour. You will not have the true tour into the African story, mm -hmm. into the true Africa. They will take you and keep you on the tours of what they find is right for them, mm -hmm. or I like to say white for them. <laughs> and so um, if you want to waste your money on an unauthenticated tour, go right ahead. Uh, I got a story, my daughter, she was wanting to go take an internship down to South Africa. Mm -hmm. And um, I did not want to spend the money to send her to South Africa at Cape Town, <laughs> which is predominantly ran by the Caucasians. And I refused right. because I wanted her, if she's going to do any Africa, is to experience Africa mm. by the African. Mm. And that's what we are here, family, uh, Africa for the Africans. And yes. that's, that's pretty much the the whole plan, the scheme of maneuver, that's what we're about, is, is Af Africa for the Africans and um, is eventually bringing our people over here. Yes. Is that something that you foresee in your future, is uh, repatriating and or uh, at least living here long term? Oh, no doubt. Most definitely. Um, yeah. I'm staying beyond the time of the group. So yeah. everybody's leaving today. Yeah. I'm staying an additional week because I've come too far to return mm. without something or a piece of Africa. And that means ownership. So I'm venturing out to check out some other spots of, of land so that I can secure, so that when I uh, return to my family, I can then return again with my wife to show her uh, those interested areas that we are going to purchase. So yeah, that's, what's that's up, what man. I'm going to do. Well, we definitely appreciate you, family, man, and you've been so instrumental. Your words have been uh, powerful just amongst amongst the family while we've been on this trip, and uh, we really appreciate, you know, having you here. Thank um, you. Thank you for the interview. Man. Yeah. If I could say one last yeah, thing, yeah. and that is that I reach out to our youth, our middle age, and our seniors. If you ever had a thought of about Africa, please come visit Africa. I'm gonna tell you, you will thrive. You will. You can use your knowledge and your experience to come here to the land. And we complain about how America is. This is the land of opportunity. Mm. And for those who are seniors, you, it, it's a dereliction of duty on your part <laughs> if you do not come to the country that you were stole from before your last breath. So you're getting NJP'd in the spiritual realm. <laughs> yes. And for the middle aged folks, it is a coming upon you to save your money for you and your children to make a journey over here to Africa. It will be a derelict of your duty that you will continue to keep your children in a society that is not for you, mm. for them to get a glimpse of a country, a continent that is for us. Mm -hmm. And the youth, don't go take internships from other races that's going to keep you stuck in a tourist trap and not give you the true, authentic tourism mm -hmm. that you that you are deserved. And stop going to Europe. <laughs> stop going to Europe, the Asia, <laughs> Central America, mm -hmm. come back home. With that, I'm Khufu. Everyone be blessed and I thank you. I say.